Hello, this is Clayton Balmas with Synmax University. I'm your teacher here today with our video classroom. Today, we're going to talk about BERT transmissions and the grease which was designed for their application. You see, Synmax uh, performance lubricants help design these product lines for the BERT transmission. What happened was, is a few years ago, uh, BERT, through his engineering staff, came to us and said, we have a problem. Within our ball spline, we have to have an application where these balls will be able to function at 9,000 RPMs up to 900 horsepower. Can you be able to create something that will handle that? Then immediately we worked with our international grease chemists and we came up with an aerospace formulation which was able to do the following. It was able to allow the grease to have a long life, be sticky and tacky to roll, be light enough to be able to handle the 9,000 RPMs, waterproof, long life, and be able to have a, a, a surface technology so the bearings wouldn't wear out. Now that's a lot for a couple pumps of grease, but we were able to do it. So you'll be able to see on the website where Bert himself has endorsed the Bert Blue Magic products. Now what we're going to do here is we have a... Uh, uh, presentation which is going to share about the Burt Blue Magic Special Design Grease against what we consider is, and we like these guys, the national brand in Mobile One. So as you will see we have a presentation which is available for download on the internet and you can see the details of this transaction. Basically uh, you also see a video with Burt and so what we have here is that you will be able to see in the presentation where you have the Burt Blue Magic, you have the uh, uh, regular bearings, and then the ones that was used with the Mobile One. And we have a variety of pictures showing them very closely. And if you could be able to see this properly, you will see where the, the, the additive package was, is able to make the bearings live much better with the Burt Blue Magic. So we have a couple of pictures that you can be able to download and see. Like here's one with the Burt Blue Magic versus a new bearing set of bearings. And then also the reason this is so successful is the tackiness of the grease for high RPM to stick within the bearings. One of the problems we run into is when the bearings are within, within the, the area here that the, the grease will sling to the side with G-forces and just a little bit is left on the bearing. So we had to put a, what was called a special tackifier inside of it. So you can be able to see a variety of these pictures within the presentation. And all I can say is after everything that uh, Bert is very pleased. If need be, you can talk to his engineering staff. You can call him up in Canada and he will be able to share this. Now, let's get to work and actually see how both these greases work. Now, today we have a, uh, a standard, what we call like a Timken bearing machine used by many uh, oil and grease manufacturers. We have a motor that turns a shaft, we have a race, and then we have a bearing. Now, there's a lot of tricks on how to do this, but the best way is to try it for an immediate shock load test, and that's what we're going to do. Why? Remember how I shared how those bearings, how the grease would be pulled away and have it still live? Well, we're going to show what that looks like right now. Here's our Mobile One grease. Now, we don't have to over grease in there. Enough is enough. We're just going to have a little bit. You've seen this pink grease before. Lovely. Smells good. Real yummy. We're putting just enough on there to coat it. Okay. Wow, look at that smoke. Ready? I'm going to say, Clayton, you didn't get enough grease on there. Okay, let's take some off here and we'll put it back on there. Here we go. Ready? Now, let's say, Clayton, but it has to float in the grease. You're not doing it right. Well, I tell you what, one of the things that we have to look at, we'll just have it float in the grease. And if it was just humming along, it'd be okay. The last time I looked, when you're shock loading at 9,000 RPMs and coming on the gas and off the gas, this is what you have. 
but maybe it does all right. But let's do this other thing. Now, last time I looked in dirt racing, you had a lot of mud, you had a lot of water, you had a lot of stuff. So let's pull it. Will water get in there? You betcha. Because dirt racing, dirt racing and horse racing is pretty close. So let's watch this. Sounds pretty good. Wait a minute. Well, Clayton, that just wasn't fair. You got to put more grease back on there. Okay, here we go. One hand. I said, holy cow, Clayton, how did that happen? Well, I'll tell you why. Chemically, it's a choice. This product here is made with what's called lithium. Now, when they create the product, when they create the product, they have to take lithium soap and they put it together to create the product that we have. And unfortunately, as soon as water hits it, it's going to self-destruct right there. Okay? That's the problem. So even if you were using the mobile and you had a little bit of water get in there, because of the lithium uh, uh, design, it's going to do that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put in a fresh new bearing so that we have a, uh, for our shock load test, here's a brand new edge. I wish I could show it to you, but that's okay. Here's a brand new edge. Yeah, let's roll that over better. Yeah, brand new edge. Ah! All right. It was kind of loose there. This is an honest test, ladies and gentlemen. You can find your own Tim and Barry machine, do it yourself. All right, here's the Burp Blue Magic, the new 2011 product. I'm just gonna put a little bit on here. You see how that comes in a good, nice line? That's how it greases into the ball joints. That's a pretty good deal. Now, would you say that's covered on there? Okay. So here we go. Ready? Clayton, that ain't fair. You ought to smoosh some more grease around there. Okay, I will. Ready? Here we go. Now, what happens if the bearings are really dry and then you just start off? <laughs> check that out. Oh, well, Clayton, how does it work with the water? Well, let, let's check that out here. Okay. Now, I don't know. That mobile one's a pretty good deal. Let's see what happens here. That's full of water. You can see the water leaking out. Now, I think that mobile went in about 10 seconds, didn't it? Oh, come on, Clayton, that can't be real. All right, let's take it out. Yeah, this is real water. We had it before. Why? Because it's a calcium sulfonate complex. Well, let's just try not to get some of that grease off there, how it works. It's just, maybe it's too much grease. Well, Clayton, that's got to be some kind of trick on there. I bet that's really wore down, isn't it? Well, I'll tell you what. If you were to look at this bearing right now, if you were to see this bearing right now, it's only wore maybe an uh, eighth of an inch, where the other one's like half the bearing. So anyway, that's about it. 
The bottom line is this. Burke came with their engineering staff to say, could you make us a grease that works for 9,000 RPMs and 900 horsepower? And, well, I think we did it. So that is the difference between grease technologies. So this is Clayton Balmas with Synmax University and Burp Blue Magic Products with uh, Synmax Performance Lubricants. We want to thank you, and I'll see you at our next session. Bye now.